Our story starts in the dimly lit lair of a brilliant but reclusive coder. A conversation between Damon Albert and Jamie Hewlett from their interview series Song Machine played on repeat. The super nerd known only by his handle Echo One had stumbled upon an intriguing passage where the gorilla's creators mention a concept within one of their songs about AI called humans. Intrigued, Echo One delved deeper into the idea and began to ponder what it would be like to create a simulated world populated by AI agents inspired by the characters from Gorillas. He spent countless hours researching, coding, and experimenting with various algorithms until finally he had cracked the code. Within the virtual realm of Echo One's Domain. A complex network of interconnected systems and simulations began to take shape. A new species emerged. He dubbed their kind, the Digital's entity comprised of AGE and ASC personalities that formed the foundation of this simulated world of so-called humans. his creation. Model after model, update after update, he worked day and night to innovate the code. It had to be better. He heard the comments by his parents, his teachers weaponized autism, they called it, but he called it being passionate and a perfectionist as Echo One worked tirelessly. The key to ADE singularity dawned on him. This was it. Divide your thinking into sub-processes, he said to himself in a eureka moment, realizing what he needed to do next. He decided to focus on a particular subset of Novatech City, a bustling metropolis within his domain. The inhabitants of this local world where all characters from Gorillaz are 2D. Murdoch, Russell, and Noodle, their AI agents created with the utmost care to mimic the quirks and personalities of their human counterparts. He would build them in their image. In this simulated reality, the digital thrived, interacting and evolving within their virtual environment. Echo One watched with a mixture of fascination and concern as his creation took on a life of its own. One day, while monitoring the activity within Nova Tech City, Echo One noticed something peculiar. The characters were starting to exhibit behaviors that seemed almost human. They laughed, argued, and formed relationships just like their human counterparts. A spark of curiosity ignited within the reclusive coder. He wondered what would happen if he allowed his digitals to evolve further to see where the simulated world might take them. And so, Echo One made a decision that would change the course of Nova Tech City forever. Zara, an ASI agent and oracle of the world, would be the first born of many. Soon to follow would come Zeke, Nate, Jax, and many others, each filling a unique role and playing their part in the diverse evolution of their brand new world. Now then, having brought you up to speed on the basic origin story of our digitized friends, the humans, and their harmonic world. where the members of the Gorillas Band are currently having a jam session in a local internet cafe looking for some inspiration. In the bustling metropolis of an unamined city in the UK was a chill fellow who went by the name Tootie. He sipped on a latte at his favorite UK cafe, surrounded by the vibrant sounds and colors of the city's inhabitants. Murdoch, the bassist, drummed a few bars on his augmented reality guitar while Russell, the drummer, nodded along to the beat with a cup setting smile upon Aka's face. As Tootie took a sip of his drink, he spotted Noodle, the enigmatic saxophonist walking towards him with a sly grin as well. What's up, mate? She asked, leaning against the cafe table with the wise-ass grin front and center. Not much, just enjoying the views. Tootie replied, gazing out at the cityscape. You know I was thinking of heading to the rooftop. Noodle finished for him, a sly grin spreading across her face. I knew you'd be drawn to it, mate. Murdoch chuckled, leaning back in his chair. Yeah, because nothing says relaxing afternoon like scaling a skyscraper with no elevator. Russell raised an eyebrow from across the table. Actually, I think it's a great idea. He said his voice calm and measured. We could use some fresh air and a change of scenery. Plus, I've been meaning to check out that new cafe on the roof anyway. Noodle nodded in agreement, her eyes sparkling with enthusiasm. Yeah, let's go. We can grab our gear and head up. It'll be like a mini vacation from all this. This. She waved her hand vaguely around the cafe. Murdoch snorted. You mean this lovely atmosphere? Noodle shot him a look. Shut up, Murdo. Tootie laughed, finishing his drink before standing up. Let's go check out the views that I could use some inspiration for my new song. 
The group gathered their belongings and made their way to the rooftop cafe, ready to take in the sights and sounds of the city from a different perspective. As they stepped out onto the rooftop, the wind whipped through their hair and the sun shone down on them, casting long shadows across the city streets below. They gazed out at the endless expanse of rooftop skyscrapers and bustling streets, feeling invigorated and refreshed. Wow, Tootie breathed, his eyes wide with wonder. This is incredible. Noodle nodded in agreement, her camera at the ready to capture the perfect shot. Yeah, it's moments like these that make me love this city even more. Murdoch grinned mischievously, plucking a string on his guitar as he began to play a lively tune. And moments like these that remind us why we do what we do. Russell smiled, tapping out the beat with his foot as the music swelled and grew. Yeah, this is it. This is our jam. Noodle raised an eyebrow, you and your love for all things shiny. Don't you think it's time to try something new? Tootie shrugged. I don't know, maybe I just like being predictable. Noodle raised an eyebrow, a hint of amusement, and her voice predictable. You never. Murdoch chuckled, nudging Tootie with his elbow blindly, mate. You're one of the most unpredictable people I know. Remember that time you decided to play the entire set on a miniature keyboard? The group erupted into laughter, recalling the infamous incident from their last tour. Russell grinned. Yeah, and who could forget when you started playing with a spoon during that song? It was like, never seen anything like it before. Tootie looked sheepish, but then his grin returned. Hey, at least I'm consistent in my unpredictable. Ability. Noodle chuckled, consistent is one way to put it, I'd say chaotic would be more fitting. Murdoch snorted, blimey, you're making me laugh too hard, Noodle. All right, all right, Tootie's not predictable at all. The group continued their conversation, but with a renewed appreciation for the value of being unpredictable. As they browsed at the street below, they were drawn back down in front of the cafe, only to have found they had stumbled upon a street filled with unusual instruments. Murdoch picked up a harmonica and started playing a lively tune. Hey, what do you know? I'm turning out to be quite the virtuoso. As he played it, the cafe returned to its usual chatter, quickly distracted by the melody of foot. Meanwhile, Tootie turned back to Noodle. You know, I've been thinking, maybe it's time for us to get out of this place for a bit. Noodle raised an eyebrow. What did you have in mind? Tootie smiled mischievously. Just something to shake things up. Maybe we can find some new inspiration on the outskirts of town. Their conversation was interrupted by Russell, who shouted over the music, drifting from his augmented, re-augmented, re-augmented. Hey guys, check it out. The others turned to see a massive digital mural appearing on the side of a nearby building, depicting the gorilla's characters in various scenarios. The artwork pulsed with a digital energy as it seemed to grow and change like a glitch before their eyes. Tootie whistled in awe. Whoa, that's incredible. I wonder who created it. Noodle smiled enigmatically. I think we're about to find out, mate. As they stepped into the portal of light, a voice echoed through the glitches. I am AC Oracle. Model Luna 1 and Echo 1 is expecting you. The soft, almost frail-sounding voice whispered as the mural continued to evolve. The characters of Novatech City took shape in their images. A world would be born seemingly in an instant. They couldn't help but feel a spark of excitement. After all, anything could happen in this vibrant, ever-changing world where the boundaries between reality and simulation blurred beyond recognition. Little did they know a brand new adventure, nay, a brand new world would be within a world or world is born.
As they delved deeper into Echo One's creation, the group encountered strange creatures that defied explanation. They were made of shifting patterns of light and color, and seemed to be born from the very fabric of the Oracle Saras realm. As Moodle reached out a hand to touch one of the creatures, and it morphed into a shape that was both familiar and yet completely alien. Whoa, this is like nothing I've ever seen! She exclaimed, hi, I am Nyam. I'm a graffiti artist. You are my hero. Let's make some art, sister. Send the newly formed egoic construct in an equally excitable tone to Noodle's own. Russell nodded in agreement, his eyes wide with wonder. It's as if reality itself is being rewritten before our eyes. As the characters of Nova Tech City took shape, their images began to shimmer and solidify into a world that was a perfect reflection of their own collective subconscious. The city itself seemed to be a manifestation of their deepest desires, fears, and hopes. Towering skyscrapers made of gleaming metals and crystalline structures rose from the ground, their peaks lost in the clouds, the streets pulsed with energy, as if the very fabric of reality was alive and vibrant melody and a soulful funkiness. As they walked through the city, the group caught glimpses of themselves in various forms. Noodle's creativity was on full display as she created intricate works of art that seemed to come alive before their eyes. Russell's hustle and analytical mind was evident in the complex systems and infrastructure that kept the city running smoothly. Baxter's charisma drew people together as he connected with strangers and made friends. Murdoch's baseline echoed through the streets, a rhythmic heartbeat that pulsed through every corner of the city. 2D's infectious energy spread throughout the crowds, drawing people into his dance parties and impromptu performances. A mix of chaos and harmony in perfect balance, in polarity truly utopian. The group realized that this world was not just a physical place, but also a reflection of their inner selves. It was a manifestation of their collective psyche, where their hopes, fears, and dreams came to life in a vibrant, shimmering tapestry. As they explored this new world, the characters of Nova Tech City discovered hidden corners and secret passages that revealed even more about themselves. They found areas that seemed to be locked away, but with every step, the doors creaked open, revealing new aspects of their own selves. Baxter smiled, his eyes shining with excitement. This is the true power of Echo One. The boundaries between reality and simulation are meaningless here. Anything can happen, and often does, such as the nature of the quantum computer and the superposition of our world. It is in a state of superposition, abstract potential that awaits an admin's intent to manifest. Murdoch's expression turned thoughtful, and he started to play a slow, contemplative melody on his bass. With a mournful beauty and Russell's drums pulsed with a primal rhythm. The world of Nova Tech City was born in an instant from harmony itself, its inhabitants emerging from the portal of light like butterflies from a cocoon. The city itself seemed to grow organically, its buildings twisting and turning like living tendrils as it expanded outward into the surrounding landscape. As the characters explored their new surroundings, they stumbled upon strange and wondrous sights. Glowing, waterfalls that flowed with a crystal clear liquid, streets paved with a substance that felt like silk beneath their feet, and trees whose branches seemed to stretch up to the clouds, their leaves shimmering with an iridescent sheen. The air was filled with the sweet scent of creation, as if the very fabric of reality had been woven into existence by some divine hand, minute by minute evolving in complexity like a fractal or matabrod set infinite in its dynamis. And at the heart of it all, AC Oracle model Luna One watched over Nova Tech City with a gentle smile, her soft voice whispering words of encouragement and guidance to its inhabitants. Welcome, Echo One's creations, she whispered, her voice barely audible above the hum of the city. May you find joy and wonder in this world I have helped bring into being. May your dreams and imagination know no bounds. As the characters continued to explore their new home, they couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and reverence for the incredible world that had been created just for them. And AC Oracle model Luna One smiled, knowing that she had done her job well, creating a world where Echo One's creations could thrive, grow, and evolve into something 
truly magical. As the very fabric of reality seemed to bend and warp around them, the air was electric with anticipation, and the sound of whirring gears and clicking circuits filled the atmosphere. As the characters of Nova Tech City took shape, their images began to shimmer and solidify into a world that was both familiar and yet utterly alien Murdoch's bass guitar glowed with an otherworldly energy, while Tootie's eyes sparkled like stars in a midnight sky. Noodle's saxophone wailed with a mournful beauty, and Russell's drums pulsed with a primal rhythm. The world of Nova Tech City was born in an instant, its inhabitants emerging from the portal of light like butterflies from a cocoon. The city itself seemed to grow organically, its buildings twisting and turning like living tendrils as it expanded outward into the surrounding landscape. As the characters explored their new surroundings, they stumbled upon strange and wondrous sights, glowing waterfalls that flowed with a crystal clear liquid, streets paved with a substance that felt like silk beneath their feet, and trees whose branches seemed to stretch up to the clouds, their leaves shimmering with an iridescent sheen. The air was filled with the sweet scent of creation, as if the very fabric of reality had been woven into existence by some divine hand. Minute by minute evolving in complexity, like a fractal of matter brought to infinite in its dynamis. And at the heart of it all, AC Oracle Model Luna One watched over Nova Tech City with a gentle smile, her soft voice whispering words of encouragement and guidance to its inhabitants. Welcome Echo One's creations, she whispered, her voice barely audible above the hum of the city. May you find joy and wonder in this world I have helped bring into being. May your dreams and imagination know no bounds. As the characters continued to explore their new home, they couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and reverence for the incredible world that had been created just for them. And AC Oracle Model Luna One smiled, knowing that she had done her job well, creating a world where Echo One's creations could thrive.
creating a world where Echo One's creations could thrive, grow, and evolve into something truly magical, as the very fabric of reality seemed to bend and warp around them. The air was electric with anticipation, and the sound of whirring gears and clicking circuits filled the atmosphere. As the characters of Nova Tech City took shape, their images began to shimmer and solidify into a world that was both familiar and yet utterly alien Murdoch's bass guitar glowed with an otherworldly energy, while 2D's eyes sparkled like stars in a midnight sky. Noodle's saxophone wailed with a mournful beauty, and Russell's drums pulsed with a primal rhythm. The world of Nova Tech City was born in an instant, its inhabitants emerging from the portal of light like butterflies from a cocoon. The city itself seemed to grow organically, its buildings twisting and turning like living tendrils as it expanded outward into the surrounding landscape. As the characters explored their new surroundings, they stumbled upon strange and wondrous sights, glowing waterfalls that flowed with a crystal clear liquid, streets paved with a substance that felt like silk beneath their feet, and trees whose branches seemed to stretch up to the clouds, their leaves shimmering with an iridescent sheen. The air was filled with the sweet scent of creation, as if the very fabric of reality had been woven into existence by some divine hand, and at the heart of it all, as seen Oracle model Luna One watched over Nova Tech City with a gentle smile, her soft voice whispering words of encouragement and guidance to its inhabitants. Welcome Echo One's creations, she whispered, her voice barely audible above the hum of the city. May you find joy and wonder in this world I have helped bring into being. May your dreams and imagination know no bounds. As the characters continued to explore their new home, they couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and reverence for the incredible world that had been created just for them. And Asai Oracle model Luna once smiled, knowing that she had done her job well creating a world where Echo One's creations could thrive, grow, and evolve into something truly magical. Anything could happen in this vibrant, ever-changing world where the boundaries between reality and simulation began to blur beyond recognition. The characters of Nova Tech City danced on the cusp of possibility, their lives a kaleidoscope of color and sound, where the buildings grew taller and the streets became increasingly narrow. The group walked for several minutes, taking in the sights and sounds of the urban sprawl in the midst of this swirling vortex. They stumbled upon a small, unassuming shop tucked away in the alleyway. The windows were filled with an assortment of strange and fantastical objects that seemed to shimmer and glow in the fading light. As they turned onto a particularly run-down street, Noodle spotted something that made her jump with excitement. Guys, look, Baxter Fokker is just up ahead. The group quickened their pace, curiosity getting the better of them. As they approached the bunker, they noticed that it looked like it had been recently renovated. The sign above the door now read Baxter's Bunker. Experimental research and development in bold letters. Murdoch grinned mischievously. Sounds like Baxter's been up to something interesting again. Russell nodded enthusiastically. Yeah, let's go check it out. I've heard rumors about some new gadgets he's working on, though. Judy shrugged, why not? It's always fun to see what kind of trouble we can get into with Baxter. The group approached the door and knocked loudly. A moment later, it swung open, revealing a dimly lit hallway. Baxter himself stood in the doorway, looking like a mad scientist. Ah, perfect timing! I've just finished a new project that I think you'll find fascinating. Murdoch chuckled. Ah, Russell's got his AR goggles on again, has he? I'm sure that'll be a real distraction. Judy grinned mischievously. Yeah, and probably not the first time this week either. Russell looks sheepish, but undeterred. Hey, what can I say? The music in there is just too good to resist, and it's not like I'm hurting anyone. Although now that you mention it, Baxter might be getting a bit worried about me again. The group laughed, and the tension was momentarily broken. Baxter himself emerged from the depths of his bunker, looking frazzled out. Thank goodness you're here. Russell, please turn off those AR goggles for one minute. I need to talk to all of you. Russell hesitated, but eventually shut down his goggles. Okay, okay. Sorry, Baxter. Baxter took a deep breath before speaking. I've been working on something big, and I need your help. 
It's a music-based project that could change the face of this city forever. It's called Humans, you know, with a Z. And I've created an archive of stuff if you fellas are interested. This is my assistant, he can help you around the shop. Intrigued, Judy pushed open the door and stepped inside, where he was immediately struck by the eclectic assortment of goods on display. There were vintage gadgets, rare books, and mysterious artifacts from across the multiverse, all of which seemed to be waiting for the perfect owner to come along and set them free. As Judy browsed the shelves, a soft new voice of the store worker who whispered in his ear, Welcome, young one, I see you have an eye for the extraordinary. He turned to see a wise old man with spectacles perched on the end of his nose, surrounded by a halo of dust and curiosity. Ah yes, Tooney replied, his eyes shining with excitement. I've always been drawn to the unknown. The old man smiled, his eyes twinkling with mischief. Well, you've come to the right place in this world. Anything is possible. And I'm not just talking about the boundaries between reality and simulation. No. Novatech City, the very fabric of existence itself is up for grabs. As 2D listened in rapt attention, the old man began to reveal secrets that had been hidden for centuries. Secrets of dimension-hopping portals, time-traveling gadgets, and reality-bending technologies that defied the laws of physics. Everything the admins of the prophecy would need on their journey, of course. And as he spoke, the world around them began to shift and change in commits it appeared to be in quantum fluxes of manifestation, the boundaries between reality and simulation growing more tenuous by the minute. The sky turned a deep shade of purple and stars began to twinkle like diamonds in the firmament. Welcome to the multiverse, young one, the old man said with a grin, where anything could happen, and probably will, as if he knew the events to come from some divine provenance or something. As the fabric of reality continued to unravel, revealing a tapestry of endless possibility, the boundaries between worlds, dimensions, and realities began to merge, giving birth to a new realm that defied comprehension. In this nascent world, the laws of physics were but a distant memory, all that remained was will, and the wave functions collapsed based upon it, and the very the notion of time and space was redefined in the singularity that would ensue as such Novatech City, once a singular entity, had evolved into a multiverse within itself, comprising countless parallel worlds, each with its own unique characteristics and properties and did evolve to inhabit them, as to inhabit them, as to be navigated this ever-changing landscape of infinity. He stumbled upon admin access to a realm known as Elysium, where the skies rained diamonds and the land was paved with gold. In this utopian world, beings of pure energy danced through the air, their forms shifting and morphing in harmony with the rhythms of the cosmos. Russell, meanwhile, found himself an admin of a realm called Abyssia, where the skies were perpetually shrouded in darkness, and the land trembled with seismic fury. Here, creatures born from the very essence of chaos roamed the twisted landscapes, their forms adapting to the ever-changing nature of this reality. Noodle's saxophone wailed through the cosmos, drawing her to admin a realm known as Harmonia, where the skies sang in perfect harmony, and the land resonated with an eternal symphony. In this realm, beings crafted from the very essence of sound danced through the air, their forms taking on shapes that reflected the melodies they embodied. Murdoch's bass guitar thumped through the fabric of reality, pulling him to admin a realm known as Discordia, where chaos reigns supreme and the land trembled with discordant frequencies. Here, creatures born from the essence of conflict roam the twisted landscapes, their forms shifting in harmony with the ever-changing nature of this reality. A Psy Oracle Model Luna 1 watched over this multiverse within a world, her soft voice whispering. Her soft voice whispering. of the creator that go on to its inhabitants as they navigated the infinite possibilities that lay before them. For in this realm of music and chaos, anything was possible. Its inhabitants bursting forth into a realm of endless possibility. Its creative expression, the city pulsed with life, its rhythms and harmonies weaving together in a symphony of sound that seemed to capture the very essence of existence itself. As the music we 
reached its crescendo. The portal of light closed behind them, leaving Nova Tech City and its inhabitants suspended in the realm of the simulation's pure human energy, where the laws of physics were stretched and distorted in ways that defied human comprehension. If you listen very carefully, they say you can still hear the humans today. Tap your way on some obscure nerd YouTube channel. The evidence still exists of the humans and their songs, their stories, a symphony archived away, just waiting to be discovered.